Really? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. All right, gang. So here's the deal. We uh, we haven't covered it on the show yet. Data is finally finishing its trickle in for yes. April automotive <laughs> sales. Yes. yes. Market shifts back into higher gear in April. This is from Automotive News, the industry yes. publication. U.S. sales advanced 10% in April, with fleet driving most of the gain again as inventories continue to recover. Now, Pops, before we dig into it, why? how could this possibly be the real you've got to be kidding me? What what could possibly drive that? Well, uh, the reason it's a really you got to be kidding me is the headline says, my God, you know, things things are really going great. When in reality... Um, retail sales ain't doing much at all. And the reason I say that is 296,000 vehicles that were sold were actually fleet sales. They represented more than one in five of all the vehicles that were sold in April. That's that's a crazy number. That indicates to me that as much as we'd like to think that things are in high gear, uh, not for not for the major buyers out there, the, the regular customers and consumers out there, those people are either staying away or are stagnating at the numbers at which they're buying. And it's finally commercial fleets, uh, rental companies, governmental fleets, that they're, they can now get the vehicles that they've ordered God knows how many years ago. Uh, but it ain't what that headline suggests. So, yeah, they 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 might they might get an award for the most creative headline for the year. market shifts back into higher gear. Yeah, and yeah. you know we've been call, following the fleet. Fleet sales aren't sexy. Let's be real. Fleet sales are boring. So fascinating though, because fleet vehicles are going to be your lower profit margin vehicles, yes. and fleet vehicles are the ones that took a huge hit during the COVID pandemic and the chip shortage and all that fun stuff. And for months now, we've seen fleet sales uh, significantly increase year over yes. year. And now fleet sales making up more than one in five new vehicles sold last quarter. Man. Last month. Man. Last month. Last, last month, excuse yeah. me. I mean, what stronger indication do you need that the market's not actually as strong as you think it is? And all those $100,000 trucks sitting around, they're going to be sitting around a little bit longer. The the, the really got to be kidding me here is truly the spin on that data. And I would not be surprised if mainstream media outside of the industry publication picked this up as car sales starting to bounce back in April. They are not, folks. They are absolutely not. CarEdge.com, all sorts of free resources back there, Dad. Like what? Oh, I don't know. What's your car going to depreciate over time? How much is your insurance going to be? What should you expect to pay for fuel? It's all there. All that information in one place. Yeah, this this is where you have to read well below the headline to understand what's really going on. Um, and I and I get that automotive news is an industry publication. Now. Um, and and so perhaps because they're an industry publication, they 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 feel compelled to try and paint a better picture of what's going on in the industry, but it's not an accurate picture. Um, it, it just isn't. When when more than a fifth of the vehicles being sold are going to fleet as opposed to retail customers, at at a certain point. When the fleets are are completely filled again, then what happens? Okay, and let's let's put this in a little bit of context, Dad, because it's it really. I mean, we're not just we're not full full of BS, guys. This is the data yeah. from February of this year. Okay, the the headline over at Cox Summit February fleet yeah. sales surge. Yes, they were up forty eight percent year over year. A hundred. Let's round up one hundred eighty four thousand yes. vehicles sold to fleet in February of this year. Okay, what yeah. about March? March fleet sales increase again. Okay, where were we in March? Well, we were up 27.7% year over year. We sold 225,000. Yes. And again, what did we do in April? Almost 300,000 vehicles being sold to fleet. So it's not just us sitting here. It's those those doggone headlines saying auto market strong, auto market robust. No, no. We've nearly doubled the amount of vehicles sold in fleets in 60 days. What 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 more clear side do you need that the market has changed? Uh, but you know, hey, if if I was in their shoes too, I'd be digging my heels in. I, I get it. Um, you know, they they they're just trying to paint a better picture 
um, trying to indicate that things aren't really as bad as they might seem, when in reality, they're probably worse. (laughs) Okay. They're they're, they're probably absolutely worse. Um, And and I think we will, once those fleet sales are are completed, we're going to see such a slowdown in new vehicle sales on the retail side of things, not the fleet side of things, but on the retail side of things. And, and it's going to be staggering either how stagnant or what the decline is Uh, because fed raised rates again yesterday, Uh, average transaction prices are still over $45,000 average pickup truck transactions across the border are around $65,000. It is, we have said it, it's not sustainable. Uh, The vast majority of people cannot afford to buy a new vehicle today. Um, And the number of people who can, that number is shrinking. And and the market continues to shrink because more and more people either find themselves unable to be in the market or they voluntarily take themselves out of the market. 